A piece of legislation called the DREAM Act may be turning into a nightmare for its Democratic sponsors and Republican critics. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel tells us what it is and why it is so divisive. An emotional and pointed debate is raging in the Senate where Democratic leader Harry Reid has inserted into a key defense bill a measure to make it easier for illegal aliens to get citizenship. And Senator John McCain is angry about it. This is a transparent attempt to win an election. That's what this is all about. With our forces fighting two wars, he says this is no time to throw partisan unrelated matters onto a must-pass defense bill. He sees it as nothing more than an effort to curry favor with Hispanic voters, a sign Democrats are worried about the fall elections. And their desperation because they see the November 2nd elections coming up is palpable. And in an interview with Fox, Reid's opponent, Sharon Angle, agrees. He's politicized this. He's looking for votes. He's looking for votes in those places where he thinks he can find them. And to attach them to the defense bill is truly an outrageous act of, of political maneuvering. I don't think we should talk about how beneficial the DREAM Act is for Democrats. Senator Reid wants to talk instead about how the act helps young illegal immigrants. The DREAM Act is very simple. It says if you've been in this country for five years, you came before you were age 16, you should be able to go to a state school. Not just attend college, but also automatically qualify for in-state tuition at taxpayer-supported state universities, which some senators sharply criticize. But it will provide a powerful incentive for more illegal immigration by allowing states to grant in-state tuition to illegal alien students. Illegal immigrants could also stay here by volunteering for military service. And after two years of service or attending college, illegal immigrants could get a green card, the last step before citizenship. Another Democratic leader says it's only fair for children brought here illegally by their parents. Now these children have grown up in America. They have now reached an age where they are finishing high school, many of them. And they believe they are Americans. And those who qualify could become Americans because after six years they can apply for full citizenship, which is why opponents call this the first step down the road to amnesty. In Washington, Jim Angle, Fox News.